Question 10. A photocopy center charges three cents per page and a five dollar fee for the binding of the document. Consider the function which associates the number of pages with the total cost of printing and binding the document. The binding can be used for a maximum of 400 pages. All right. So first, A, complete the table of values. And so I'm going to do that. If you are binding zero pages, OK, yeah, you still have to pay for the binding of the document. OK, if you walk in and you say, all right, bind this up for me. And they're like, um, OK, but there's zero photocopies. No, bind it anyways. OK, they're going to have to charge you $5 for the binding. So there you go. And then for 50 pages, so 3 cents times 50 pages is $1.50. Plus the five is six fifty. A hundred times the three cents is three. Plus five is eight, and so on. Okay, so you just do that in each case. All right, is the cost? Is this directly proportional? Okay, there's another trick for directly proportional. I'll show you in a second. But um, you're looking to see if is there a, is there a continuous ratio, right? So I'm just going to do I don't know. I'm just going to do the uh, the x over y. Generally, you would do you would do y over x. I'm going to do x over y because, look, 0 divided by 5 is 0, OK? But if I do 100 divided by 8, I get like 12.5, which is not equal. OK, so 100 divided by 8 is 12.5, and 0 divided by 5 is 0, so these are not proportional. The ratio isn't continued, OK? The ratio isn't the same for all these values. If the ratio is the same for all the values, then, you know, like x compared to y in each case, um, then you end up with a proportional situation. But since, you know, like 0 to 5, isn't the same ratio as 100 to 8, isn't the same as like 200 to 11, okay? So, or if you took 100 to 8, 100 to 8 is 12.5, 200 to 11 is 18.18.18.18, okay? Not equal, these things are not equal, so this is not proportional, okay? Right, all right, but before I do that, um, I'm just gonna plot um, the graph. Okay, now, just I want you to notice, they give us a one here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, okay, I could have plotted that and, you know, with this graph, I should have, and I don't know why I didn't. But because our values are starting at zero and going up to 250, so I went 50, um, and by the way, with the eight, I get to 100. So my lowest, my, my value that I could put on the graph, the biggest value I could put on the graph is uh, 108, right? Which is like here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here. Okay, so that's this, that's like the third value, and that's it. All right, does that make that doesn't make any sense to me? All right, so um, that your whole graph is taken up by that. So what I did is I I thought, well, look, if I go up by fives, right? If I start here at or not by fives, if I go up by one, but I start at five, I can get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's your twelve point five up to 13. So I can get the whole graph on there. So I just put a little breaky thing here between the 0 and change that to a 5, and then went up like that. So I can get the whole graph on. OK, then I'm going to start with the 50. So that's um, 50, 100, 150, 200. OK, and then 250. So the whole graph is you know, up around here somewhere. OK, so I'm going to plot the first point, 0 and 5. And then I'm going to plot, I think the next, I mean, if I plot this one, it's at 12.5, which is a decimal. I don't like that. So I'm going to go to the 211. So 50, 100, uh, 150, 200, and 11 is going to be right here. OK, and then draw a line between it. There's your graph. OK, B, is the cost directly proportional? And we've already discussed this. Um, it's, it's not proportional because uh, this ratio is not the same. OK, so 0 to 5 is not the same as 20 to 11, for example. OK, but also if you have a straight line graph and it passes through, through the origin, that is proportional. OK, this is a straight line graph which does not pass through the origin. So it is not proportional. This is a partial variation. OK, yeah, there's the numbers. OK, so this is not directly proportional. OK, it's a partial variation. C, um, for this function, determine the rate of change. So the rate of change is going to be delta y over delta x. I'm just going to pick two convenient points. Um, I like the, the 0, 5 because it's got a 0 in it, and I like the 108 because it's got a 100 in it. So I'm going to do uh, delta y, 8 take away 5, over delta x, 100 take away 0, which gives me 3 over 100, which is 0 0.03. Sound familiar? Yes. It, this is how much you're being charged per page. Okay, that's the rate of change. That's the rate of payment, in fact, Okay, or the charging rate. All right, the initial value. Oh, we're about to run out of time. Stay tuned for part two.